people. How's your mama doing? How's your mama doing? Now, I guess y'all heard about Sandusky getting sentenced to 445 years in the prison getting mm, for 43 charges. No, 45 charges. There was 48. They dropped three, and I think it was kind of stupid, but he's going to jail. No, he's not going to jail. He's going to prison for 445. Well, see, why they say 445 years? Shouldn't you say, uh, you got life in prison, motherfucker? They didn't have to sit there and say, oh, you got 445 years. They, motherfucker, you just should have said, you just should have said, life in prison, dumbass. You, you going to jail. You going to get your booty poked out. That's all that is. That's all it is. He gonna get his booty poked out. And uh, he's gonna see how it feels to get his ass poked out. He's been to, since he was poking a lot of guys. A lot of, lot, of, lot of little boys in the booty hole. He's gonna get his booty poked out. So. I'm glad that he's going to jail. It's kind of something he found out that everybody found out that he actually molested one of his uh, adopted sons. That's kind of bad. I said, damn, that's, a, that's the baddest thing to hear when you adopt some children. A child that's been in the system for so long. And you molest them. What kind of man are you? You're going to molest a child that you adopted that been in the system. And you're going to molest them. There was kids that's been molested from 19, 1998, 15 years ago, 20 years ago. And he's sitting out here getting all these charges. He's like, all these people coming out testifying against him. Oh yeah, he I'm playing with my I don't think they should be cutting dropping three charges to me if I was the judge. If I was the judge of that case, I wouldn't drop no charges. I would've been like, no way. He's gonna get the whole 48 charge. I say, we don't need no jury. I mean, you gotta convince me not to win. You know what? He's guilty. Prison, prison, motherfucker. Life in prison, dude. You can't get out. That means you gonna get your ass poked out for raping these kids. So every we gonna let 445 dudes poke in your ass. Huh? That's all it is. Like over the the years in prison, every day for the rest of your life, you gonna let dudes poke in your ass huh? in the jail cell, the prison cell. Bad. That's bad that he he that he did this man a coach of a coach. see this is why I don't get people that I've sat here and I I sat here and it's, and, ha and it happens like there's people that goes through this that gets molested and certain people get away with it they they get away with molesting a child and I think it's wrong for that to happen that that he did this to so many kids to, that he molested and he was a respected college uh, football coach and respected by many and then he goes around molesting kids like there's too much like my mother always told me there's too much free pussy out there to be fucking any any kid like he got a wife at home why would you like if you married and got a wife why would you go out and fuck little boys if you got coochie at home like I always said man if you got like I always say, man, if you got ice cream at home, I go out and buy some more. I said, what, what, in the butt? You want to do it in my butt? And it's sad that y'all hear what way in the butt because that's what he's going to get in his butt. Four hundred and forty-five years. But why do they take so long just to charge him for child molestation? Like, why do they wait so long just to sentence him for four hundred and forty-five years? Why, like... 
certain cases like child molestations are not that long. They take like a few months, like what, one or two months, or probably like, like a few months. And they already okay since life in prison, twenty years in prison, probation, whatever, whatever. But a year, over the year. Y'all what took, it took I that long what, just what, to sentence this man? Butt. I said what what in the butt. I said what what in the butt. I said what what It took oh, a year butt. just to sentence this butt. man for butt. child molestation. In my butt? In my butt? You wanna do it in my butt? In my butt? Let's do it in the butt. Now, that's okay. one thing I don't get. One it's it, okay. it took you a year a just to sentence, to sentence this man to prison. I for all them child molestation. If you want it. Hey, I, I wonder why. Why is it that every every time we pay the American people pay taxes, that the justice system screws over the people because they don't want to do their job. They want to stretch out a court case for so long. You see what I'm saying? Like there's been cases where what what in the butt. I said what, there's been what, cases where I said what what there's been the some like said, what, like what, I know that like down butt, here where I'm at there was a certain cases butt, where that butt, these guys like butt, okay what was it that woman okay. it was them teachers I will give you what, you need. what happened All I want when them teachers are um, molesting these me. kids what happened you uh, me. probation what was that woman that, that teacher's name that molested her student and got pregnant? She was married. She was married and molested her student and got pregnant. Her husband finds out that she got pregnant by her student. She got sentenced to jail time. Her husband divorces her and takes their three kids. She has that, that 15 year old baby. What happens? He gets custody of the baby. The woman spending time in prison. When she gets out years later, she goes back at him again. Has gets pregnant by him again. And she goes right back to jail. It's funny how they quick to jump on teachers for molesting students, but when it comes down to something like this, a a coach, why did it take a year just to sentence this man to jail? It should never take. It shouldn't take a year for these people to sentence this man to jail time. If he molests the kids and there's proof to back it up, and there's proof to back it up and everything, then cut the bullshit. Go and sentence this dude for the damn crime. Don't sit there and wait, waste time. See, that's, that's what they like to do. That's one thing I don't get. They should sit here and wasted all that time. Wasted all that time bullshitting with Sandusky, and they could have had his ass in a penitentiary getting his ass raped and shit, but they waited too damn long. I, I just don't get it, man. There, there's been cases where. Yeah, y'all motherfuckers want to get the bite and looking at. That's, uh, uh, that's one thing I don't get, man. They wasted all that time. They could, this man could have been in jail already serving his time, but they, they, they playing. They playing. That's one thing I don't get. They playing. That's one thing I don't get. All this this whole time he molested these kids. And all that evidence that was shown that he did it. That should have been enough to like the storage, the backup evidence, the evidence to back up that evidence, the other evidence to back up that backup evidence, to back up that backup evidence. You got all this evidence saying pointing him he molested these kids. But they wait to the wait a year or so to prosecute him and say, dude, you got 445 years in prison. And why drop three charges from 48 charges? So he got charged for 45 charges. I went back there. I was like, you know, one thing is, if he was getting charged for 48 charges, but dropping three of them, he gets the full-blown 48. But that, oh, you get 445 years. No, you get life. You get life for molesting these kids. Over the time, you spend the rest of your life in prison for molesting these kids. So you won't do this again. That's one thing I don't get, man.
they wasted so much time to prosecute this dude and they finally do it I'm kind of relieved that they did it to take a current criminal off the street so another child wouldn't be hurt but I don't think they should have waited a year, a year to prosecute this man now that's, that's how it is That's what I'm saying. They need to stop playing like this, man. They can, and go to prosecute these people. If they can prosecute a regular person for child molestation and have that evidence, and they take a few weeks to a few months to show here he molested these kids, why should it be any different from Sandusky? Why do they wait a year just to prosecute this dude and say, oh, you know what, you guilty? But you know what, I'm glad that he's... In jail. I'm glad that he's in prison. So I'm gonna serve 445 years in prison because another child don't need to go through this by this man. In my book, he's another dick in the booty ass motherfucker. And I think, I think, man, I, I feel bad for the kids though. They want the people that went through this by the hands of this man. Like I think. I don't think they should never, should never went through this. He, he put so many kids through so much because he he had urges to fuck. Like, why would any person have an urge to fuck kids? That's one thing I don't get. Why would any person have the urge to have sex with a minor? Like, and and these damn states. That's one thing. If the government, like these states, I don't get because it's it's kind of stupid that half these states that's in this country set the bar so low that they actually giving the green light. To pedophiles. You probably like, okay, what the fuck you talking about, Afro Joe? I mean like this. There's some states where a grown ass man that's in their forties or from the from twenty from eighteen because eighteen makes you an adult. From eighteen to sixty or to how old you ever how you get, they give you the rights to ha to marry and have sex with a minor in some states in the USA, even in other countries, is it's legal. It's legal for a grown man to have sex with a minor and marry a minor. And then you probably sitting there thinking it's like that's just nasty, but it's true. Like I said, man, in several of my videos, I say why make a law. And make another law to cancel out that one law. You probably say, "Okay, what do you mean by that?" The go, the see the country. See, it's like it's the country law is anybody over that over the age of eighteen, from eighteen and over, has sex with a person under the age of eighteen, or or knocks them up, has sex with an underage minor, will go to jail for child molestation and rape. Right? In some states. They say, well, if you're over the age of 18, you can have sex with a minor and get married to a minor. See, that's one long cancer now and another law. See what I'm saying? Why do we even have laws where you got several states going against that one law? See what I'm saying? That's the problem. There's so many states allowing grown-ass people to have sex with minors that you don't know who's a pedophile in which state. I know in my state that I live in, it's against the law to fuck a minor. But in another state, it's not against the law to fuck a minor. And that's and that's fucked up that if it was in another state, if it was in one of them states where it is legal to fuck a minor, he would have got away with it. 15 years he would have got away with it. 15 years he would have got away with molesting a fucking minor. See what I'm saying? 15 years he would have got away with raping a minor in one state. 
one of them states that allow child molestation. And that's one thing I didn't get that half these states, see this is why we need to come together and make the, these other states to raise the bar back up instead of allowing people to over, over the age of 18 like people like they need to make it illegal for anybody to make molest a child or have sex with a minor well it's like that in so, like in every state no it's not in half the states of the United States half the states that in this country allows child molestation that is legal for somebody over the age of 18 to have sex with the minor look it up I'm not shitting you a, a 13 year a 13 year old kid marries his best friend's mom and she was 42 got his parents consent mom can you sign this so I can get married my best friend's mom he married his best friend's mom and she hasn't been charged with child molestation because in that state it's legal as long as the parents sign a piece of paper why should why should a state even have that piece of paper say oh do you give this child permission to marry somebody that's old enough to be their fucking grandparent why and they wonder why there are so many pedophiles out there because some of these states allow them to molest and rape I shit you not I shit you not I think, man, that y'all need to start pulling a petition together to make the rest of the other states stop letting these damn pedophiles rape these kids. If it's against the law in my state for, for anybody over the age of 18 to molest a child, why does that other state allow it? Why, why do they allow it? In several states, in several states in this country, they allow kids under the age of 18 to have sex with somebody over the age of 21, and that's bad business. Where they allow this to happen, and and they don't do nothing. Then, and the people who are governors and senators and mayors and and those states, and they hear the Sandusky story, and it's like. Mm -mm, that's bad bitch. That's sad that he been raping and letting kids over 15 years. But you sit there and you got a fucking. But you, but you allow child molesters to rape to have sex with minors in your state, and you make it legal. It makes no sense. You can sit there and shake your head and say, uh-uh, that's, that's sad. I don't see why he's been doing it. But you work for a state that allows pedophiles to do any damn thing they want because it's not against the law in your state. And I'm telling you, look it up, y'all. Half the states in half the states in the United States, half the states in this country allow kids to have sex with somebody over the age of eighteen or twenty one. Y'all gotta remember, back in the pioneers' days, they didn't give a damn because they didn't set laws like that back in the pioneers' days. Why are we going backwards instead of going forwards? There's actually countries where they allow this to happen. There's nine-year-olds getting married now that people don't know in another country. Nine-year-old, nine years old, getting married. That's married right now, starting a family. By the time he hits 12, he's already got a child. So a baby making a baby that's married in another country. We're starting to be, and, and it's sad, we're supposed to be this free, this country that's free. And they set these laws, but why do certain states break the laws? Why do allow certain people to break them? And why do they take so long to prosecute these people that does this shit? Now I feel bad as hell every time a child gets molested and I gotta hear about it. I'm glad that this motherfucker's going to jail, but some of these states allow this shit to happen. They don't give a damn. But 
I'm gonna put the story in the description box so y'all can read the whole shit about him getting charged for 40, uh, 30, 40, 43, uh, counts of child molestation. Like I said, man, I just don't get it, man. It, it really minds, it's a mind boggler where people do this shit and get away with it. I just not, uh, uh, it's just so, uh, I just don't get it, man. I'm glad he's going to jail, though. That he's going to prison for 445 years. And that's the greatest thing that anybody can hear that this man is going to jail for. Like, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what I got to say, man, y'all, like, y'all gotta be, y'all gotta give props to the victims that came forward and testified. Even his adopted child came out of the woodworks and testified against him. Testified against him. But, hey, but it's like this though, man. I, I'm just glad he's locked up, man. Spending the rest of his life in the penitentiary. So he wouldn't molest another child, man. That's how it is. Like, ladies and gentlemen, follow me. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2, CeeLo Jr. 3. If you don't like what I got to say, kiss my ass. If you like what I got to say, tell me what you think on this subject in a comment or a video response. And that's how it is, man. That's how it is. Peace, love, take care of one another, and watch out for your kids. When your kids tell you, Mommy, Daddy, this person touched me, Get off your lazy ass and do something about it. Don't sit on your ass and oh well, oh uh, where did that? don't sit there and act like shit ain't happening. Get off your ass and do something about it, man. Cause kids get molested every day and parents turn the other way. There are some parents that turn the other way and allow this shit to continue on. And these kids suffer through that because they are damaged through that shit, scarred for life. They grow up becoming mol child molesters. See what I'm saying? There's kids that get molested and they grow up to be child molesters. And that's bullshit. We gotta break the cycle, everybody. We gotta break this cycle. Y'all gotta go to these damn states just allowing these shit to happen and tell them y'all need to stop letting these damn kids fuck these grown-ups and making it legal. I'll shit you not. Like I said, look it up that some of these states allow kids under the age of 18 to have sex or marry somebody over the age of 18 or 21 Just look it up I shit you not it's true I ain't down peace